Hey everybody, uh, Itamu Sushi here. Got my card cuter. Uh, so recently I was showing some of the new attachments I got coming in. Sorry, I lost my sheet of paper. Um, now I'm still working on my antennas, uh, but just to give everybody an idea. Uh, the short uh, wires I got, uh, 10 pack was 3.95. The uh, Splitters, the T splitters, five pack was 650. Um, the RFID reader uh, is 495, and infrared reflector 450 um, for the infrared reflector. Um, now, GPS chip I had already bought uh, separately, I think it was there like eight dollars, seven something dollars for the GPS chip. I can't remember anyway. Sorry, it's not on this sheet now. Uh, so, so far, everything's pretty much plug and play, but the manufacturer's definitely right. You cannot chain these in tandem. So, if I was to plug this in and have multiple things running on the same Grove port, they would uh, interfere with each other. Now, right now, you can see I got that blue light flashing. Uh, there you go. So, that is the satellite GPS. That means it's picking up satellites. Um, so right now I've got just the GPS chip plugged in. You can see nothing else is plugged in. And um, I've demonstrated before, and I can't let people see the screen here, but you can see uh, connect Wi-Fi, go down to war driving, installing, update GPS, uh, initially verified, and there she goes. Now she's starting to run. So. Uh, it does take a minute to warm up, um, so I had already running, uh, make sure it was connecting to satellites, and uh, you can see it is producing some stuff on the screen here. Not going to let you see exactly what, because, uh, yeah, for obvious privacy concerns. So you can kind of see uh, that works just fine, and then uh, what I was doing is, if you want to switch over, <clears throat> basically, you can just... Um, Plug in the one you want, unplug the one you don't want, and just leave it there. So that's going to leave uh, just the infrared. Now this thing is super sensitive, and I will do my best to demonstrate. Um, but sometimes it picks up, I mean, just anything, even just the infrared from the phone. So I'm going to hit the restart button. It's going to restart the launcher and it's going to launch Bruce. Then we're going to jump straight into infrared. And I can kind of show you guys what I mean. So this thing would be able to pick up from a very long distance. On the back, I have it turned facing me so that I could uh, demonstrate. But you can see here on the back, it comes with the screwdriver and uh, like everything comes with the long cord. Um, uh, right now I got it all the way down to minimum just so I don't get interference and we probably still will um, so Go uh, into infrared right there enter and Then I'm gonna go just infrared read so you can see that it's working and you can see instantly signal captured um, So let me back out of that There we go. Okay. See there it picked another one up let me escape out of that. And okay, so I got a small remote here waiting for signal. And then I'll hit my button on three, two, one. There you go. There's your signal. So you can either discard, save signal, or exit. So you can hit uh, next, let's save. You can just button zero. You can label what you want it to be. Hit OK, and then it's waiting for signal again. So on three, two, one, boom. There's the signal right there. Um, you can go in, let's see, save. Button number two, OK. Emulate. So basically, you can capture infrareds, save them, uh, emulate them, and, uh, oh, see, I just got another one. And go, uh, you know what I mean. And that kind of demonstrates your infrared. Now, uh, Gonna have to unplug uh, both of these from the card pewter here once again. So I've only got just one item plugged in. 
If you have any problems with it recognizing, remember just reboot the card pewter, restart it, and it will basically reboot itself. So now I've got just the RFID 2 reader in, and I'll see if I can demonstrate this. Now I only have one card that it is not programmed at all. So hopefully this works um, and I can demonstrate. Um, other words, sorry, oh well, I guess. So here you can see I got a reader. Um, let's read this card. Okay, so there it just read that card right there. And then you can see I have this one here. I labeled it with the little symbol, so I knew this was the blank one that came in the CI uh, kit. So if I read this, card number is zero. There you go. Read success. Card number is zero. So that is nothing. Uh, so basically, we can go into RFID, and then you can go to your read tag. You can just read any tag you want. Okay, there's the tag. Um, so you can just basically hit OK. Uh, clone UID, write data, save file, uh, read a new tag, load a new file. So let's hit clone. And then it's waiting to scan a new tag. So we're going to scan the blank one. Here's the one with the little symbols on it. So we'll scan that. Read or write success. Hit OK to change mode. And we'll just escape out of there. So now let's double check. Um, once again, this was the card that this is the card that was already written. Card number is one seven five three five zero seven. And then this is the card that was zero. Let's see if it works. Card number is one seven five three five zero seven. Okay, there you go. So that was a blank card with zero, and now it has duplicated it with the RFID. So uh, they are plug and play, but you cannot uh, chain them together. You can link them all you want, but you can't have them plugged into the port at the same time. And then you're gonna sometimes you're gonna have to restart your uh, card pewter. That's normal anyway. Even with the Flipper Zero, you just have to restart it all the time. If you're going into one type of program or setup and then you go to a completely different type, a lot of times you're going to have to restart the, the entire system. It's just kind of the way things seem to work on these um, ESP32 chips. Um, anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope this kind of helps give you some better information on pricing. Remember, this card pewter only cost me $30 to begin with, and then <clears throat> I think it was $8 or $9 on GPS chip. Um, infrared, uh, I paid $450. RFID 2 unit, $495. 10 of the short wires was $4. Um, you got the 5 T-Grove connectors was $650. Now, here's your expensive part are your antennas. So, I'm still working on those. I'll get back to you. So, hopefully, more content to come. And this gives you a little idea of what you can do with the card pewter. You do need a little bit of extra stuff. Uh, but it will do everything you flip for zero will do at a lot cheaper price. Um, I kind of like this thing better. It seems to run faster. The color screen is nice. It is a little small, obviously. But... You know, it's the way things go with these. And then I did notice that these do drain your battery quite a bit. Uh, luckily, the thing is so small. If you're doing some more driving, you can just snap the one unit to the back, put it in your pocket with a backup battery plugged in or something, and you can run it basically eight or nine hours or more, depending on the size of the battery you are plugging into it. And if you've got a full charge on the two batteries that are already in there. Anyway... Uh, once again, sorry. That's all I have for you today. If you watch to the very end, thank you so much. We get uh, we don't really get credit unless people watch all the way through. So hopefully uh, you guys watched all the way through. I appreciate every one of you, whether you did or not. Uh, but you guys that did are super troopers. 
Thank you so much. Everybody have a great day. Take care. Be safe. And remember, only test your own systems. It is illegal to test other people's system without their expressed permission. Anyway, have a great day. Bye-bye.